Hi everyone, this is Kiwi Nina Mori and I'm going to do a box opening today. So I actually bought a Mascad Astrid that I found on uh, the secondhand market and I'm really excited because she's coming with a lot of extras. Um, so I just pre-cut the box to save some time, but like, this is what I really love about mask hands. They have these gorgeous boxes. Like this is a trunk, like that actual case um, that you ship your dolls in. And it's just like so gorgeous. Like, like it's embossed uh, metal on the edges. And like, <laughs> you, you just give so much detail like to ship your dolls in they're just like this is beautiful um and i can use it safely in storage and it's not as much of a uh, eyesore <laughs> as all of the boxes that i have in the in the hobby all right okay so it has like the little mask hat and like logo here and this cute print on the cushions which is like this is adorable and so she is actually she's tan skin which is very uh rare and hard to get with mask hat um you usually have to message the company because it's never available on their site despite they have photos of it and say that it's an option so that's what i was really excited about um getting this girl because i, I really wanted the tan skin for their new version 3 body and she also comes with a bunch of extras like I I won't need jointed hands because basically she can do all the things that I <laughs> that I would want for her hands and she has um, extra feet as well so she's gonna be a very versatile uh, doll in the collection so I have her regular like graceful looking hands and it's like look at this resin color it's like it's so gentle and soft it's a pretty tan and I also like, I once did a um, Little Rebel hybrid with this tan and they work pretty much like 100%. So if anyone is looking for a match for um, their Little Rebel tan skin heads, Mask Hat does have beautiful girl bodies. Right. And so this is be her high heel feet. And I do intend to have her wear heels because I've, I've bought a few heels and like none of my girls have high heel feet. Well, there's like one, but she's not finished yet. So I've had no use for the heels yet. But look at these feet. It's like gorgeous, an elegant arch, um, which is really um, prominent because I see a lot of high heel feet that don't have a prominent arch when they do the high heel feet. So it's just like, well, you can fit them in a small heel, but not like the high heel. Um, that go with it. So I'm going to put these to the side. But, um, oh, well, so that one's actually, she has multiple high heel feet. So I guess this is very versatile because you can do all sorts of heel sizes with her. All right, so this is like ballet feet. That is gorgeous like I have not seen <laughs> too many feet that go that high up uh, that's lovely I love that um it kind of works because I was thinking of having her be like um a dancer so it would work well to, um to do all those poses and I would like to see her stand on these feet like I I don't see too many people take pictures of them on point but it's like such a beautiful advantage I have multiple hands. So like this seller was uh, bought all the extra parts and I'm, I'm pretty happy about that because then I won't have to like maneuver the website and contact them and make sure that everything was included. Okay, so this are her I think like she also has a uh, number three and number seven hands. So like, this is a cute little 
crunched up hand, but like their sculpt work is gorgeous. I've, I have not seen too many hands that come in this like form. It's very natural and can be used for like various poses. So she's, she's definitely gonna be one of the prop holders in my group. And then I think this is slightly more casual resting hands here. just just slightly bent at the pinky and I like this because um if you ever break a finger you can't say that you don't have hands to replace it with especially when it's tan skin and you just can't buy a regular pair of hands you have to wait for them to custom dye things and you're just endlessly hoping that the hands will be the right shade of tan or that it hasn't yellowed because you'll have the body and they'll send you new tan and you'll have to match it. All right, so this is like her ballerina feet, like that completely on point. Um, it's so graceful. <laughs> I'm super excited to have her um, wear all these because like I'm, I'm definitely need to take photos of all of them on her. So super graceful. And I usually blush all of my parts myself. And so that came in the mask hat uh, bag. All right, for the main stuff. All right, she does come with a pair of eyes. So, got some like some blue eyes there. And then the mask hat COA, which is pretty long. Like I have such a big collection of all my COAs. She's gonna take up space. All right, so this one's Astrid and she's actually, she came in September um, of this year. So this is the up to date of the bodies and the tan color that they currently have this year. Um, and then they have a little instruction guide on stringing. Um, I literally like that and then they have talking about the um, the seam lines, which is kind of crucial because I know sometimes they don't want to sand it because they are f scared that they might damage the body. And so they ask, if, would you like it to be sanded or do you want it unsanded? And how you should string her. So they, this is very thorough because it's, um, it sort of reminds me of the Volks uh, instruction guide when they send it. And I, they're, Mascot is just a very intentive company. I really appreciate that. Alright. Okay, now the, the stunts. Ah, okay. She is so gorgeous. Like, I love this. I love this resin. And this, so their old body, the it didn't have a mobility joint and I think it was bulkier. This one is slightly more slim and has more definition along the chest where they um you you can see more bones. Alright, she is stunning. Like just such a nice face. Look at the definition and the sculpting and the mobility joints. So this is the version three body, and if you can see that she is she is something else. Like I'm really <laughs> eager to take pictures of her, and I'm going to do some posing for you guys so that you can see what sort of things she can do. Okay, so this is the version 3 body review part for the Mascad Astrid. So this is her sitting just regular. And as you can see, she has a very straight sitting pose and you can sort of angle her feet down. Um, she does have like a slouch, so she can lock in place.
So she has that sitting pose down and then she can move the mobility thigh up here and she's double jointed all the way so you can get some really nice poses in. She's such a good poser. Like, this body is great. Um, definitely one of my most favorite posing girl bodies. And she holds that really well. She is well strung. She's holding everything like perfectly. And it's not too tight where the string is gonna slingshot back into her or damage the resin. But and so you can move her arms and it'll just hold in any position. very flexible doll. Not not difficult to get to the standing position. She holds that really well. You can see the full detail of her. Nice back sculpting as well. Her head mobility. And that's it. And that's the inside cap. She's beautifully sculpted on the inside. It's all very smooth resin. So there's not any um, ridges or anything in the joints, so she's just nicely strung that's holding all the positions, which is really good. Let's see. So I would definitely say she is um, an excellent poser if you're looking for one of those bodies that can do so many different things and hold it well and come with a lot of extra pieces that you can do um, like props and things with. So um, I'm really glad with this girl. I'm excited to see who she becomes. All right, so that was my body review and box opening for the mascot Astrid. And I'm really excited to get started on her and I'll post videos up of my progress. But thank you guys for watching and look forward to seeing you all again. Bye.